Oh, so you're doing that. No, don't land it. <laughs> Bye, he disconnected. Get out of here. Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and today, I'm gonna talk about some stuff. This is a commentary video, and today, we are- This is the first video of the Bedwars Wins in One Day Challenge. You guys probably have already seen the video at this point. It's actually really weird, because I just recorded the intro for that. But yeah, the plan is, I'm going to try to get at least 140 wins in one day. I'm aiming for like 10 wins an hour, so maybe I can hit up in the 240s or something and then like basically secure my record for the rest of time. But anyway, this is how I'm going to do it. This is how I'm going to stay nice and um, ready the whole time and like mentally capable. I am going to be commentating throughout all of the videos, all 48 plus of them, because it takes roughly 30 minutes to make a commentary video. So that's the idea. And I think I'm going to have a few pauses in there simply because I need to keep my sanity. I don't think talking for 24 hours straight is really going to be too good for that. But um, that's unfortunate. Oh, there you go. So today I'm going to be talking about plugins. So if you guys don't know, I am an avid programmer. I know about eight languages, probably more actually, if you want to include the weird ones like HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Um, but the most important thing I'm going to be talking about today is Minecraft plugins. I spent the past three weeks working on SubioCraft, and funny enough, today is the day that SubioCraft launches. Uh, so that's a little weird. But <laughs> regardless, today is the day that SubioCraft launches um, to the MC Jams community, a large YouTuber of over 1.3 million subscribers and 13 million views a month. Pretty sick, if you ask me. Pretty sick indeed. Uh, I'm actually going to go for blue here so that I get a quick win, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I've been working on plugins forever, and I've been thinking, now that I have the programming cap capabilities, what should I make? I'm super excited, because you can do almost anything with plugins if you put your mind to it, honestly. Let's see if I can get this bed. <laughs> yeah. No delays. No delays! No! I already have done some plugin development. If you guys don't know, I have the um, the Uber Items plugin in development. I have the Ultimate Shops plugin, SubioCraft Menu plugin, and Fun Command. So that's four of them. And um, all four of them are hopefully going to be released onto SubioCraft soon. We will see. Uh, no promises. But basically, I'll describe what they do so you can tell what I'm capable of with code. Um, also, you two are fighting. That's convenient. I don't even care about final kills. I want wins today. That is what I am here for. It is wins. So, oh dang. This is a lot of gear that I might lose if I die here. Come on, come on, come on. Get it, get it, get it. <gasps> Got him. Oh my god, yes. All right, I need these games to be really quick, so I'm gonna buy pearls. I'm gonna do all the crazy stuff that I never thought I would do, and this is one of them. All right, here we go. Oh, are you serious? Blue is at my base right now. That's fine because I have um, sharpened iron sword, diamond armor. This should well, not I have iron armor actually. Hmm. That's fine. Go, 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 go. So yeah, Uber items is basically a bunch of modded items added into vanilla Minecraft. Oh my god, that mining fatigue is great. Keep going, mining fatigue. You do your thing. All right, and in the void with you. Thank you. GG. One example of an Uber item is going to be the Builder's Wand. I actually have a lot of this created already. And if you guys don't know what the Builder's Wand does, it basically connects... Um, oh no, it adds to connected block faces. It sounds complicated, but basically what it means is that when you have, say, a wall, say if there was a wall right in front of me, I right-click on that wall, the wall becomes two blocks thick, and it goes one block more in my direction. So that's how that works. Um, pretty neat, and it places up to 2,000, or 2048 blocks at once, so it's legit. Like, this is some legit stuff. I gotta speed up with my games here. This is uh, practice games, by the way. The daily counter has not officially gone up yet. Or began, I should say. 
I guess my jitter bridging is a thing today. <laughs> run, you better run. But anyway, uh, yeah, so the first Uber item is a Builder's Wand. Second Uber item is the Lunchbox. It replenishes your hunger for you automatically. You put your food in there. <laughs> you have an iron sword, are you kidding me? It replenishes your hunger, and it actually has support for some cool items that aren't normally edible. For example, uh, melon blocks. You can put melon blocks in that thing, and it will actually give saturation points. And then as you get hungry, it will automatically be replenished. So that's that's a cool thing. And the third Uber item is, um, so far, the document of order. It's basically a piece of paper. You right-click on um, a chest. Are you kidding me? So that's what I can do so far. I have some pretty neat ideas. Um, for the Supercraft menu plugin, I actually have several plugin or, um, command ideas. One of which is S-Ban. I just added it yesterday. It's a plugin, or it's a, a plugin. What are you doing? Nope, nope, stop. <laughs> it's a command that when you type it in, it um, you can do S-Ban and then the username, and then, oh, you're doing that. Okay, you know what? I don't need blocks. <laughs> It, um, say if I were to type in S-Ban 30 virus, griefing, bullying, and, um, chat. Yeah, just chat. And if I did that, then it would ban me for two weeks and mute me after I come back for another 10 minutes or so. Because that's, um, all the different consequences of the different offenses that I listed there. So it's a pretty neat command that basically lets you ban people for specific reasons from the Subiacraft rules. And then it will um, it will ban you for the appropriate amount of time. So if I were to say S ban chargeback, no, 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 <laughs> no TNT surfing for you. Anyway, twenty three stars trying to TNT surf. That's a bit weird. Oh my god. <laughs> God, I'm nice. <laughs> but yeah, so <clears throat> that's a thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, moving on. What's my other plugins I've made? Um, in Supercraft menu, there's also a command called slash milk. It does what you would expect. It removes potion effects. Pretty neat. <laughs> that's about it. It's kind of simple. Um, there's another one called slash rename. It renames the item in your hand and it has color support. So like if I were to go up to like a sword and put it in my hand and then type in slash rename um, and C admin sword, then it will become a sword that's been nicknamed to admin sword. And it has like a little swiggle in the front to let you know that it's been renamed using the plugin. Um, also, you're going mid. That's, that's a thing. <laughs> Are you actually going to try to rush my bed right now? No, stop. <laughs> but yeah, so it's pretty neat. And it also doesn't mess with plugin items. So uh, plugin developers might be like, hey, that could break my menu item because it's just a renamed compass. Well, don't worry, buddy. It is, um, it doesn't have any sort of, uh, it doesn't let you modify already renamed items with colors in them that don't have the swiggle in it. So, um, where'd he go? Oh, you're over there. He died. I'm smart. But yeah, the, the reason why the swiggle is there so that I know it was renamed with my plugin so that you can rename it again. But if it's a renamed item that doesn't have a swiggle, that means that it's some sort of custom plugin item that I should not be modifying. So that's a thing. Uh, what else did I? I don't know. But anyway, the main question of this video is what should I do? I have this knowledge, this experience. I can make some pretty neat plugins. If I wanted to, I could probably recreate an entire mod pack using Spigot and craft bucket and all that stuff. It would be very difficult, don't get me wrong, but it would be possible, theoretically. So, I mean, obviously don't just tell me, make tech it in Minecraft spigot, because that'd take literally, like, years. But <laughs> something simple, like, like a builder's one. Something that, like, that took me an afternoon to make. Something that's reasonable, but also very cool, and something you don't see anywhere else. Because I'm looking for any and all reason to make SubioCraft the best survival minecraft server that you can have out there high pixels out there for the best mini game server i want to be the other side of that coin now we got to find mr red dude or green dude i don't know where he is hmm a good bet would be at his base 
Oh. Oh. So you're doing that. No. Don't land it. <laughs> Bye. He disconnected. Get out of here. I don't think so. Oh, that was great. I'm going to just do this. Oh. That was spicy. Dead. Yeet. I have some ideas for plugins as well. I haven't made them yet. <clears throat> One of them would be Noteblock Musician. It's a little GUI plugin that you can um, basically like throw items into like uh, an inventory and then as you click them it changes like a note and then the actual inventory itself would represent like a music sheet or something which would be pretty neat. And then what you would do is you'd have like a little test button to play the song and then it would just like highlight the item that it's currently um, on or the note it's currently on and then it would play note block noises using the plugin because you can do that so yeah and then what you can do is play them back later um once you type a command or something so then it could be really cool for like people in lobbies and stuff he's gonna jump down thank you but it'll be really good for people that have lobbies and stuff and they want to have something exciting happen when like people press a button or whatever so like say you make a teleport uh, button that teleports you to a random location in the survival world Maybe it would do a little note block song once you arrive at your location And it'd be kind of cool and it'd be professional for a lot of uh, small minecraft servers that want to do that Or even large ones. So that's an idea I'm also going to try to keep my commentary videos a bit shorter than usual like maybe about 15 to 20 minutes I mean right now i'm already hitting the 20 minute mark, but that's because of my uh Bedwars wins in one day challenge intro thing But um, yeah, so anyway Oh damn, I just realized the counter is officially going to start in nine minutes. Oh geez. Hashtag pressure. Alright. <laughs> so these games, these first few games in this like first commentary video and a half is not going to count towards the challenge. It's just warm up, I guess. I would say I'm pretty warmed up already. <laughs> not with my speed bridge though. That was that was a kind of lame jitter right there oh this is working out great i'll let them fight first scooter bay oh he died blip i bought an iron sword i'm a noob <laughs> i'll just three shot him ow get out all right nice now i get to um sometimes waiting is the right choice to be honest with you in bed wars it, it sometimes works out like that um, okay. Well, I'm gonna go and finish off blue. They actually are at full health right now, which is a little weird. Maybe it's because they gapped. I don't know. That, that's a little strange. Oh, you're going mid? And you have potions and diamond. Oh, jeez. That was a lot less exciting a fight than I thought it was gonna be. Um, okay. There's another one I figured would be really cool. I don't know how to develop bungee cord plugins yet, but I'm very interested in learning. And I know a few people that can do it. Um, so I'm thinking what I do is make a world edit schematic bungee. Are you serious? Are you serious? People do that to me all the time and their knockback doesn't matter, but mine does. All right. But, um, the plugin idea is a world edit schematic bungee bridge thing. So basically what it does is if you have multiple servers with world edit on it, in a bungee cord network or a MySQL database. <clears throat> I think I'll provide that option. So maybe if you just have like that many servers that are not connected with one bungee, um, then what you can do, <clears throat> you can transfer schematics back and forth. And if you were to copy something and then transfer servers, that copy will travel with you without even saving the, uh, the schematic. I think that'd be pretty neat. So it'd be like, if I were to select say the survival island mansion and you do slash slash copy, and then I transfer servers completely and I go to a completely different server and then I can do slash slash paste and it will paste in the schematic that I had created for survival island. That would be super useful for my network and it'd be useful for a lot of other people's networks. So I have no idea how that would work, <clears throat> but I think it'd be really good. It might already be a thing. I don't know. Probably isn't. If it was a thing, I would know about it by now. I'm waiting on that fast async world edit update as well. That's a really useful plugin that I've been without for quite a while. <laughs> That's unfortunate. He fell in the void. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, buddy. 
He doesn't even own here. Now he does. Bye. He actually wasn't too bad at PvP, not gonna lie. There we go. Let's just uh do this. The dogs are barking, which would suggest that the other person in the house left. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> I think that's about it. I have a few other plugin ideas, but I don't really know if they're a thing yet. Also, it's five minutes until the counter starts, so I need to uh, I need to finish this game quick so I can start a new one. Where are you, Blue? There you are. Hi. Right. Uh, how's it going? I don't even need a pearl to fight you. Maybe I do. No, I don't. That was it for this video, guys. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. I'm joining into the next game immediately because that's just the way these uh, commentary videos are going to work. Sorry, you're not going to see the lobby. But anyway, leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Click the video in the top right corner. Bye!